Oh, boy. Am I going to show Judy how to do a love scene? Well, Judy, here I am. Hope I haven't kept you waiting. But, Jack, you were supposed to be here at 8 o'clock. Well, uh, what time is it now? Well, it's only 5.30. Oh. Well, I only live two miles from here, and I guess I ran faster than I thought. <laughs> anyway, I was kind of anxious to get started with the rehearsal, you know. All right, Jack, come on in. We'll rehearse now. Good. You have the script here, haven't you, Judy? Oh, yes, yes, I have. And I've selected one scene which I think will be ideal for both of us. Oh, you mean the parts are equally important. Tonight. Yes. It's the part where Josephine is in love with Albert, but Albert wants to leave me and run away with an opera singer. Uh-huh. And so as the scene opens, Josephine pleads with Albert not to go. I see. And I'm Albert. Well, I should rather be Josephine. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, Albert's, Albert's all right. I'll, I'll be Albert. All right. Now, let's take it from the top of the page here. You have the first line. Oh, yes. <clears throat> Albert, I'm going, Josephine. Don't read, Albert. That's your name. <laughs> Just read the line. Oh, oh, yes, excuse me. I'm so nervous. Yes. You know, <laughs> nervous. Well, <clears throat> I'm going, Josephine. Don't go, Albert. You must listen to me. When I first saw you, I didn't care what you did. I didn't love you then. I didn't care whether you lived or died or what happened to you. I didn't care if I ever saw you again. And then, and then suddenly I felt it burning within me that meant only one thing, Albert. I loved you. I'm going, Josephine. <laughs> oh, Albert. Albert, before I met you, life held no happiness for me. And just as I decided to end it all, I saw you. You, Albert, you, you were lonely and unhappy, too. Together I thought that someday we'd follow the trail to a paradise. But no. You rose above me. You found other things. Because the things I could give you were only love, respect, and unselfishness. I'm going, Josephine. <laughs> Yes, Albert. True love and respect and unselfishness that have crowded my heart for years. But you don't want that. No, you don't want the good, important things of life. For this, I went to bed early last night. <laughs> I never thought I would plead for any man's love. But I'm trying to save you, Albert. Save you from yourself. Save you from this woman's ego who's only, who's only luring you to satisfy herself. I'm a-going, Josie. I'm a-going. Jack, read that right. Well, I'm tired of saying it the same way. See, it gets monotonous. Fine part I've got. Well, you've got a very dramatic speech coming up. It's on the next page. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, I didn't see it. Uh, give me the lead to it, uh, will you, Judy? All right. Oh, Albert, tell me the truth. What caused this change in you? Why are you leaving me for this opera singer? <clears throat> I'll tell you why, Josephine. And I won't hold back anything, no matter how it hurts. I will admit that at one time I loved you. Loved you with all the passion and fury within me. But now this other woman has come into my life. And even though I have fought against it with every fiber of my manly body, I knew that eventually... Oh, Jack, Jack, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's awful. Why? What's the matter? Well, you can't play at a scene like that. You've got to put more fire into it, more feeling, more heart. Oh, I see. Well, I'm sure I can do it, Judy. Let's try it once more. Give me the lead again, will you? Okay. Tell me, Albert, why are you leaving me for this opera singer? <laughs> I'll tell you why, Josephine. And I won't hold anything back, no matter how it hurts. <laughs> you with all the passion and fury within me. <laughs> but now this other woman has come into my life. <laughs> no, Jack, no, no, please stop. Well, what's the matter now? Oh, you've got the wrong idea of the part. We can't go on a mail call program like this and make fools of ourselves. But, gee... I told you to feel the part, not step on it. <laughs> Well, I don't know, Judy. What what would you suggest? Well, now, Jack, look. Uh, you you go home and study it, and then we'll try it again. And if it turns out all right, we'll do it. And if not, let's just forget the whole thing. Well, that's 
what happened, fellas, but Judy was only kidding. She thinks I'm wonderful. Of course I do, Jack. You see? I knew I was wonderful. <laughs> Say, Judy, how about doing a song for the boys now? I'd love to, Jack. Do you think they'd like to speak low? Anything you sing, baby. All right. Everything else. 